So one of the saddest falls from grace, if you want to call it that in recent memory, has been the fall off of a fighter who generally, I truly do mean this, he was in my top five favorite fighters at one point in his career, uh, Hamza Chemaev. His fall off has honestly been one of the most astronomical fall offs you could ever imagine. His fall off, it, it, it needs to be studied. There needs to be a study on this fall off. So there was a moment in time where Hamza Chemaev was one of the most active fighters in the UFC. He fought back to back weekends. Uh, he was, you know, he was the guy going in there. He's fighting everyone. And he was just a badass. He was a badass going in there, destroying everyone. Smashed everyone. Smashed everyone. I'm going to smash everyone, brother. I'm going to smash everyone, brother. Smash everyone. Easy, brother. You know, this was a thing that Hamza Chamayev was doing. But now, you know, it's gotten to a point where instead of smashing everyone, it's smashing nobody. He's not fighting anybody. Hamza Chamayev isn't smashing anybody anymore because he's not fighting a single person anymore. He fought once last year, only once. This was a guy who was trying to fight like a hundred times a year. Now he only fights once a year. It's generally crazy to see. Like it, it is one of the craziest fall-offs. But let's look at his tweets. Okay, in 2022, he said, congratulations, Leon Edwards, MMA, see you soon, boy. Then he said, he put out a post about Alex Bahia saying, don't be afraid, boy. I'll make, I promise I'll make it real fast. See you soon. With a peacock emoji, a smiling, a laughing emoji, and then a handshake emoji. Then that was, congratulations, Stylebender. See you soon with a smiley face. Then he puts out a tweet on the 10th of September at Sean at S Strickland MMA. Congratulations. See you soon, Mike. Now, I'm not quite sure why he called him Mike. It is just something weird that he did call him Mike. It makes no sense. Then he put out a tweet saying, see you soon, Bip Liski UFC 300. Like, I, I don't I don't understand what he's saying with half of these. Like, I, I don't understand what Bip Bip Liski means. I, uh, I don't understand that. I don't know why he called Sean Strickland Mike. But he's just calling everybody up. But instead of smash everyone, it's smash nobody. He's calling all of these guys out, but he hasn't fought a single one of them. He literally has not fought any of the guys he's called out. Now, for years, for years we heard about him, you know, saying he was going to smash Adesanya. And he did fight Kamara Usman, to be fair to him, but that was on short notice, a week notice fight, where it wasn't even really a great performance. Kamara Usman's still a very great talent. But, like, it is still a bad look that you haven't fought a single one of these guys at all. Like, come on, man. Like, this is just getting ridiculous, right? Like, not a single one of these guys. He's called out every single fighter on the roster at this point. He called for Jan Blahovic, He called for Yuri Prohaska. He's called for light heavyweights. He's called for a light heavyweight title shots and all this stuff. You haven't even won to get to a title shot yet. He hasn't... I don't even know when he's going to return because he keeps saying he's going to make a UFC 300 fight. He's going to fight at UFC 300, but nothing. It's just... It's just crickets. It's crickets. Nothing. Nothing. He's not doing nothing. I smash everyone, but I smash everyone, but I smash everyone, but I smash everyone. Now it's... No, brother, I know smash him. I know smash him, brother. I know smash... No, smash nobody, brother. Like, just fucking go... Become a fucking pacifist and go fucking live in the fucking Himalayas at this point, mate. Like, he's not trying to hurt anybody. He's not trying to fight anybody. He's just minding his own business, you know? You know, Hamza Chemaev has no enemies at this point. Because he doesn't fight at anybody. You know, he's got beefs with all these fighters. But he's turned into a social media fighter because he's not going in there and fighting anybody. All he does... Is use Twitter fingers. He's a Twitter fighter now, and it's a shame. It is a damn shame to see for Hamza Chemaev, a guy that, who at one point in time was one of my favorite fighters. Now, if I'm Hamza Chemaev, you're not getting the next title shot. You know, Hamza Chemaev isn't getting the next title shot, in my opinion. It's going to be Israel Adesanya. And if that's the case, it's going to be Hamza Chemaev 
versus Jared Cannonier. It makes the most sense. I don't know how long Jared Cannonier is out for, but what fucking what does it matter to Hamzat? He's sitting out for fucking years anyway. So, you know, he'll probably be by the Abu Dhabi card when he fights fucking next. Uh, maybe maybe a, maybe he fights on the Saudi Arabia card. That'd be cool since it's been moved to June. Maybe they'll make sense for everything. They did say that they did want to get some big fights for that card, uh, but people weren't available. And you know, Hamzat Chimaev did look like he was fucking dying at one point. So maybe. Maybe that means we're going to see Hamza Chamayev on that Saudi Arabia card. I hope, just I pray for his own hype train that he is going to be on there. Because if he's sitting out even longer, that is going to be a, such a killer to his career. Like, he had the potential to actually be one of the greatest talents of all time. Now, I'm not saying, like, if he if he went in there and won fights and got a quick rise up to those divisions when he could, I think he still beats Leon Edwards. I don't think he can make world to weight, but I think he would beat Leon Edwards. I think he'd be able to smash Leon Edwards. But now he can't even make world weight, so we can't even know if he would beat him. Because we're never going to see that fight now. So, that's not going to happen. Uh, then we got to factor in, like, he probably would have beat Israel Adesanya. I think he would have beat Adesanya. Now, Adesanya's not even champion, uh, you know. I don't think he beats Drakus. I think Drakus Duplessis beats him at this point. I think he's too, too so much bigger than Hamza. I don't think Hamza can use his uh, big brothering style against a guy as big and strong. As Drakus, I think Drakus has better cardio than him. I think he's, his pressure style will get to Hamzat a little bit. I think he's a better striker. I think he's more powerful than Hamzat. I think he could beat Hamzat Shemaev. I think he might be physically stronger than Hamzat Shemaev because he's freakishly strong. A guy who talks about light heavyweight. Like, it's just, it's not really working out well for Hamzat Shemaev. I think he's missed his timing for him to have all this great championship potential. He could still be champion, don't get me wrong, but he's now at a place in his career where it's going to be so much harder because he's let these guys surpass him. You know, if you told me two years ago that Drakus Duplessis would be UFC champion and you know, Hamza Chamayev would, wouldn't have even won the belt by then, I would have been like, oh, are you sure about that? You're, you sound a bit fucking biased there, mate. But now look at it. Look at the timeline we're in where somebody like Hamza Chamayev hasn't even fought for a UFC championship yet. But Drakus Duplessis has not only fought for a belt, but he's won one. Sean Strickland has won a belt before Hamza Chemaev. These are not things I thought I would have been talking about. When I watched that Brad Tavares versus Drakus Duplessis fight, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, he's he's a hype train. But no, look at him. After that, beats up Darren Till. Beats up Derek Brunson. Destroys Robert Whittaker. Beats Sean Strickland. I think he's going to beat Israel Adesanya too. He just goes on to... Pull off some great performances. It's crazy to see. Like, Drakus Duplessis, one of the craziest f fighters ever. Like, he's just won it being a Chad. But Hamza Chemaev has just sat out. In that time, Drakus Duplessis beat Brad Tavares, beat Darren Till, beat Derek Brunson, beat Robert Whittaker, beat Sean Strickland. Hamza Chemaev has only fought twice in that time period. He's only beat Kevin Holland and... Kamara Usman in that time period, while Drake has just been so active, Hamza Chamayev's own inactivity has killed him. His his aura, and I know some people don't maybe don't like the term aura, but he did have so much aura running out, sitting on top of the cage, waiting for Gilbert Burns. Like that was crazy. That was some of the biggest aura I've ever seen. That was like that was fucking crazy shit. You don't see anyone like that. He was excited to go in there and scrap. You know, you don't see people excited to fight like that, but. He generally had some crazy aura about him, like, you know, coming in there, smashing everyone back-to-back -back weekends, and a month later going in there, knocking out GM Free, then he was meant to fight Damian Meyer. Like, he was looking like one of the craziest uh, rises up we were ever going to see. Then, obviously, COVID halted his big rise up, which was a damn shame to see. And now, nobody really cares about him anymore, do they? Like, Hamza Chamayev doesn't really have any hype anymore. His aura is fucking gone. It's just not there anymore, and it's a shame. Like, I generally, I'm not just saying this to, you know, make a video and then, you know, oh, yeah, he's lying. Hamza Chamayev was truly one of my favorite fighters. I messaged him right after he debuted. Let's see, where is it? I messaged him the 22nd of July with a really shitty edit I made saying future champion, the 22nd of July, 2020. Wait, maybe I'll, I always, I always fuck up there. I always don't put the brightness up. Like, 
I have been a fan of Hamza Chamai for a very long time. As soon as he debuted in the UFC, now I'm not going to act like I was someone watching his Rise Up in Brave. I wasn't watching Brave at that time. But I've known of Hamza Chamai for a very long time. I've been a fan of his for a while, and he's just, he's killing his own career. Like, he's just not doing anything, is he? He's... Like, that performance against Kamara Usman was, like, borderline shameless. He That first round, though, that first round was great. He looked amazing in that first round. But then after that, he was just gassed. He wasn't doing nothing. He was getting pressured. He was getting boxed up a little bit by Kamara Usman. It was just... It was honestly so shameful to see from Hamza Chimaev. And his aura is gone. His last performance wasn't that great, but he's still talking, talking, talking. Just stop talking and go out. Actions speak louder than words, Hamza Chimaev. Go out there and smash everybody, please. Don't go out there and talk about everybody. I talk about everyone, brother. I talk about him, I talk about him. I'm going to talk about everyone, brother. Everyone. I'm going to talk about everyone. It doesn't work that way. Don't do that. We don't want to hear you talk. We want to see you fight. Go have an active year. Fight Jared Cannonier. Jared Cannonier is the fight that makes sense. You go in there, beat Jared Kennedy, you earn your title shot. You shouldn't get a title shot beating Kamara Usman. You're only like, what, nine, seventh in the rankings at middleweight. We need you to go beat Jared Kennedy. You beat Jared Kennedy, you can go fight Drakus Duplessis, Adesanya, whoever's champion by that time. I, I'd assume it's going to be Drakus Duplessis. And that's a really big fight. Hamza Chimaev versus Drakus Duplessis is a huge fight. That is a cool fight. That is a really good fight. We get to see if Hamza Chimaev's bully style he does he has a bullying style he is a hammer in there but he can take some shots he, he can still win fights even if he's not the hammer as we've seen against gilbert burns but i think we got to see how he does against that south african chad style of drake's duplessis can he just go in there can he just go in there and can he chat his way can he go run his one through drake drake's duplessis or is drake is going to go in there and find a way to chad through the offense, the pressure style of Hamza Chimaev. I want to see that fight, but I don't think he deserves it at this point. I want to see him get some more wins before we're even entertaining the idea of a Hamza Chimaev title shot. Because he has completely killed his hype. If they announce that fight today, nobody's going to care about it. If Hamza Chimaev goes in there and destroys Jared Kananir, we're back on. We're back to the races. The fight will have hype again. Well, it will have hype, I guess. Nobody's really spoken about a Drake's Duplessis versus Hamza Chimaev hypothetical matchup, but here we are. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But that's just my thoughts on it. I want Hamza Chimaev to be active. Go beat Jared Kananir, and then we can talk about you in a title shot again. But yeah, that's all I've got to say on this topic. It's just a shame, because I really do like Hamza Chimaev. And it's, it's just to see him have this fall off is generally sad to me. But that's all I've got to say on this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a like. Give me your thoughts on Hamza Chimaev's lost aura. And if you're not already, subscribe. Share this video. Share this video to group chats, uh, MMA group chats, MMA pages on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, I don't even care. Just share this video, make sure people watch it. Let's get this message out there. We want Hamza Chimaev to get his aura back. We need that aura back because it's becoming a damn shame and it really is something sad to see. One of the worst fall-offs I've ever seen in uh, mixed martial arts history. Like he hasn't even lost, but he's lost hype. Like how fucking crazy is that? He's like what, 13 and 0, 14 and 0? And he's lost all this hype? And he's still fighting. Like, I mean, he's not still fighting, but you know, you get what I mean? Like, he's not like a guy who's gone in there and got absolutely dusted up in a fight. He's still undefeated, but he's still losing hype because he just talks too much. And it's just so fucking annoying to see. If he was going in there and still being active and destroying people, and then he was going to, you know, doing these call outs and everything, then yeah, fair enough. It's all right. But all the guy does is talk, man. And I'm getting, I'm really getting sick of it. I think I made a similar video about this a few months ago, talking about how sick I was that I was at Chimaev just coming a, you know, a snap, a fucking Instagram, Twitter trash talker or X trash talker. See, I can't even use the new name for Twitter and that because it makes me sound like he was an ex trash talker. He still is trash talking, but yeah, it's just a shame to see, man. I am a Hamza Chimaev fan, but it's getting harder and harder every day. But yeah, anyway, that's all I've got to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Like I say, give me your thoughts on Hamza Chimaev and his current trajectory. And yeah, make sure you show this video to people and get them to like this and share this video too. And then yeah, we can expand this idea that Hamza Chimaev needs to stop fucking talking. But anyway, that's all I've got to say, guys. Thank you so much. See you guys next time. Cheers.